Welcome back to this special edition of This Week in Louisiana Agriculture from the San Diego Zoo and the City of San Diego, site of the 96th Annual Meeting of the American Farm Bureau Federation Convention. Well, you saw earlier how farmers help feed the animals here at the San Diego Zoo, but did you know that the beautiful plants growing all around me and around the park not only help feed those animals, but can save endangered species? Neil Malasson now shows us how that's done in this week's Bottom Line. The Bottom Line is brought to you by the Cotton Board, strengthening the fiber of our industry. The California condor is one of the most visible symbols of conservation efforts to restore an endangered species. In order to repeat that success story for other species, it will of course involve captive breeding and providing habitat for those animals. Where it really starts though is with plants. Like most zoos, the one here in San Diego has many ornamental trees and bushes surrounding the animal exhibits. What makes this 20 acres here a little different is that it is also a farm for the browse consumed by those animals. While there is additional food grown off-site, horticulture manager Dan Simpson said getting the browse here works just like a regular farm trying to figure out which crops work best. When Another institution says, what was your success with that? How did you know? Right. Kind of like a farmer's journal. They know what sure. years, what crops did best. And so again, we share a lot of information. Like any other farm, they have their fair share of woes, such as crop pests. The challenges at a place like this is that they can't use conventional pesticides due to both regulation and the sensitivities the animals have. In fact, some of the browse can't have insecticides because they're growing browse for insects such as the endangered Lord Howe Island stick insect once thought completely extinct. We offset the impact of the pests on eucalyptus by raising 30 different species for browse. Also like a farm, Dan has to grow what his consumers want to eat. Part of that is balancing their nutritional needs with their taste as well as what the texture of their food is like. Wow. This so is you have our, ficus here, is that? Yes, we okay. have, uh, this is our uh, primate browse cooler. That's not just ficus for primates, it's a lot of ficus, three tons weekly in fact. While the ficus you see here is for primates and elephants, there's also some for animals that aren't even at the zoo. One of the most endangered species is the Sumatran rhino, and some of this ficus is headed for the Cincinnati Zoo where they have the only specimen in North America. So looking at that ripple effect, none of it would have happened had we not been doing what we were doing for 20 years with our various ficus species and shipping it across the country. The bottom line here at the zoo is the same for us at home. The animals have to eat every day and that starts with sound farming practices. With a little forethought and planning, not only can it keep the animals vibrant for the visitors, but preserve these wild creatures for generations to come. I'm Neil Malonson for This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. We want to thank the folks here at the San Diego Zoo for allowing us to shoot our show here this week. If you're ever in the San Diego area, the zoo is a must. Well, that does it for this edition of This Week in Louisiana Agriculture. Before we leave you today, I want to thank all of you who sent me cards and emails during my time away from this broadcast. It means so much to me that you shared your concerns about me. I am pleased and grateful to report that my leukemia is currently in remission and, well, you'll have a tough time convincing me that I haven't beat this one as well. Many thanks to the Twyla team. They worked hard to bring you the best farm news in the country, in my opinion. That's just what they do and they work very hard at it. And of course, thanks once again to my favorite redhead back home. Renee, you saved me once again, sweetheart. From the San Diego Zoo, I'm Michael Dana. For all of us here at This Week in Louisiana Agriculture, thanks for watching everybody. Hope to see you again right here next week.